Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, one of the things that we've started doing here is farrowing and then selling piglets. And one of the challenges that comes along with that is the actual handling of the piglets. And a couple of weeks ago, we kind of figured out a little better way to wean those piglets, get them off their moms. But now, we've got customers that are coming to buy those piglets and uh, we got to figure out a way to catch them up in the trailer. We got them in that training pen down there, but that's, that thing's 32 feet by 64 feet. And if you've ever tried to catch a piglet, it just gets interesting. So hang out with us for a little bit. Let's see if we can figure out a way to uh, catch those piglets, get them ready for customer pickup and uh, do it without falling in the mud. Hang around. All right, so as y'all know, we've got our training pen set up here <clears throat> and this is 32 by 64 and it's hard to chase piglets around inside that size of an area and catch them um, you can kind of get them corralled, corralled into a corner but you got to have two or three people to be able to reach down and snatch them as they're running by it just it becomes a bit of a it becomes a bit of a challenge and <clears throat> having to catch 15 I, I just don't think we can do it so what we're going to try we've got our buddy jamie miles's trailer here it's got the, the barn door style on the back with the drop down gate. And what we're gonna try here is we're gonna take out one of these panels on the end. Now we've still got the electric ran on the inside. So the piglet should be, so we can zoom in there. We've still got the electric ran right along here. So we're gonna move the pig panel out of the way, back the trailer up to the wire, drop the, uh, drop that uh, drop gate down. We're gonna put some hay on it so there's not so much of a transition and see if we can coax some piglets up in there or can we get them kind of chased back into this corner here and then take a couple of small pig panels and shoo them up in there. Again, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but worth a try. So let's work on getting this panel taken apart, get the trailer in position and uh, We'll get some hay on that gate and just kind of see what we look like. complex setup we just uh, slid one of the panels to the side back the trailer in raised the uh, tongue up so we don't have as steep of an angle and then we covered this gate with uh, some hay so that there doesn't appear to the pigs to be such a transition so what Jamie and I are going to do now we're just going to kind of step away and give them a minute and see if anybody see if there are any takers anybody's interested in this and uh, like I said we got to catch 15 so you know if we can run eight or ten up there that's a start so Let's see what everybody does. Chances would be real good. Come out here in the morning, they'll all be up in there straight. Alright, so we're not real comfortable yet getting onto the trailer and me and Jamie made a couple of attempts to uh, kind of corral them back here in the corner, but they don't feel the trailer is being a safe area yet, not safe enough for them to try to retreat to and go into. We're probably going to come out in the morning, there'll be a handful of them in there asleep, so 
we're just going to leave them for this evening and uh, we'll leave the setup here just like it is and let them get a little more time um, with the trailer and get comfortable with it and try them again tomorrow. <laughs> Were. Okay, let's try this again. I just recorded all this and didn't hit the record button. Got, uh, I think we got 17 on here, 16 or 17. I'd rather have 16 or 17 than to have 14 and not try to catch the one. Initially, looked like about 15 walked up there. There was one little girl in there that I didn't feel comfortable selling to a customer. She was a runt and still a little small, humpbacked. Just don't feel good about about selling her to a to another customer. So we traded her out. But again, this thing worked out really good. Brought the trailer out, dropped one of our fence panels last night, um, backed that trailer in and dropped the gate. <clears throat> I think we've talked about this on other videos. Seems to work better in our experience when you're loading. If you can ease that transition from the ground that they're used to onto the trailer um, with some hay or something like that. Like here we put down hay on that, uh, on that ramp. And they just walked right up and Jamie, it looked like they'd been sleeping in it last night, hadn't they? Yeah, yeah they'd been, looked like they'd been sleeping in the trailer last night because it had a bunch of poo in it and the hay was disturbed and all that kind of thing. So, gave them a little time to get used to it this morning. We just kind of corralled them down here into this corner, took a big pig panel and uh, pushed them over into that corner, shut that thing down and they just walked right in there. I mean, it worked out, worked out really, really good, so. All right, got a customer coming here after a while, buying 15. So we got 16 or 17 in there. We'll let him pick out the 15 that he wants and uh, we're off and running. That worked out great. So that process ended up working out a whole lot better um, than what we were afraid it was going to. When we initially came up with, when Jamie originally came up with the idea of setting that uh, trailer up in that corner and then kind of shooing them over into that area and running them up on the trailer, I thought, man, if, I don't know if it'll work or not, but it ended up working out great. We, uh, I think the key there, a couple of things, you know, like we mentioned a few minutes ago, um, number one, making that transition up onto the trailer. That seems to, um, that seems to make loading a little bit easier. And also, um, leaving that trailer in there with them for a while so that they can kind of get used to it and figure out that, you know, it's okay to get up and in and all that kind of thing. So, but anyway, figured out a little better way of catching our piglets. Um, if you like watching us catch piglets, I'm gonna stick a video right up here that you might wanna go check out. Um, catching pigs, piglets, anything around here, it's always an adventure, so. Uh, but anyway, like we always say, please continue to keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video.